Hello everybody, this is Isaac here. Um, I just want to update a previous tutorial I made on the save and checkpoint system. Um, what I'm going to show is how to make a checkpoint system that's just kind of standalone, a lot easier than what I had before. I, I look back at it and realize it's, it's a little more complicated than it needs to be. Um, some people have pointed it out, but I just never came back to it because I was working on other things and so when I finally looked at it, I, I know more now, so I was able to make it a little uh, simpler. Okay, so for this, you'll just need an actor, which is going to be the checkpoint, um, a game state with this information, and your character blueprint. And I will show you how to do all that. Okay, but one thing about this checkpoint system, um, It'll work like how games, when you're playing and say you get a checkpoint and then you turn off the game, it'll say you'll lose all progress. So you'll have to set up some system like that um, if you're going to use this system. All right, so I'll just demonstrate real quick. All right, so there's one checkpoint. I crossed it. I'll let my character get shot. and it goes back and then I'll cross this plane and get shot and it takes me there so you can see that based on whichever checkpoint I cross okay I think you get the idea alright so the way that works um, there's the two checkpoints. This actor is just gonna grab the the player's last location and then set that location. So I'll go under here. It's it's just a box trigger or a box volume. This here. And I don't, I don't know if you remember before we could basically set this so we can customize it um, under the construction script, which is here. So you can see how that looks. I'm taking the trigger volume that we just set up there. I put a little image there. And just make sure the trigger volume, I don't think it can be under the root, otherwise you can't, like customize the size depending on the game that you're that you have set up so under construction script I just have the trigger volume set up with it is valid and then the set box extent I don't know if this is necessary but I've been getting more errors without this recently and then I created a vector variable and that's um, that can be edited and that goes into set box extent so that way well there's YouTube did you notice <laughs> knows he doesn't have any pants and Daisy okay <laughs> anyway uh, here we go so when you have this selected now I can change the size here without a problem. So whatever you need for your game, when they enter that, it'll just take them back to that location. Okay, and yeah, so I just have it set up with tags so when that player goes through the that volume it only applies to um, the character I have and then after that I use a function game state get game state there and then you can easily cast to the game state that you need so I just go cast and then whatever game state you have so just you just have to create your own game state I created a new one and called it drone 
which is I think you can create it from here if not you can create it this way I think yeah you can create a new game state here and so I'll just go back here so you can take a look again So after we get the game state, we're casting to the game state that we created and we are getting a variable which is in game state. And then what I do is I just get actor location and set it. So under game state, I created a variable and that's the one we're actually grabbing here hope that makes sense okay and then this is a custom event which fires when my player health is really low I just moved this here because I got a, some mess over here that don't really want to look at <laughs> but that's just a series of the health getting low so when the health gets low I'm getting game state and doing the same thing here casting here and I'm just firing the custom event and that's all you need to do from your player um, when the health gets low I'm just casting to it to that um, to the game state and saying hey I want to update the player alive I just put player alive I could change it and so then once it knows the health is low it's gonna say oh okay so now I'm casting to my character and setting a new location. I'm sure there's different ways you could go about this, but this is um, what I came up with. And it's, it's much simpler, um, I think. And if you have any questions, um, I'll try to answer them the best I can. I'm still learning, um, but this is what I was able to do. And yeah, so I think that is all for today. Um, I'll try to update more content more. So yeah, alright, so thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.